Can she read? God, see, you can't, cause you get, you can't even focus when you're just in a conversation. Okay, okay, shut up. My life is ruled by a vicious cycle of the color puce and that ass. Ruled by a vicious cycle of buying the right pants to be cool and the amount of gay I am. God, that hurts. Um. My life is ruled by a vicious cycle of the basic suffering that pervades all of existence and my boyfriend's stupid penis. Makes and sense. my life is ruled by a vicious cycle of D's nuts and the ghost of Marlon Brando. I think I know who that was. Yeah, no, that was like 100% me. Oh man, welcome back, <laughs> Dragon. I feel like that's the point of this game, make people feel bad. <laughs> Surprised no blink cards have come up. Uh, a bigger, blacker dick would be woefully incomplete without getting caught by the police and going to jail. There's a little racist there, and I dig it. I dig it. Uh, all the single ladies would be woefully incomplete without teaching a girl how to hand job the penis. Three months in the hole would be woefully incomplete without lots and lots of abortions. And Neil Patrick Harris would be woefully incomplete without God. eating an albino. Huh, buh, buh, buh. <laughs> See, because we have one that's kind of racist, and then we also, like, all the single ladies are back. Hum, hum, hum. <clears throat> I think that that one's from Oz, but I'm going to pick it anyway. Wow, no. Damn it! Hey, there it is. Like, like I said, man, welcome back, Bone Dragon. It's been a while, and he's just, he's sweeping already. He two hand, three hands, and he's already sweeping. Oh, boy. Don't want this in my... Yeah, let's go. I feel like it's the wrong card to play to him, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> too much cocaine. <laughs> Did you bring too much cocaine in the class, kid? Oh my god. Did you bring three consecutive seconds of happiness? Hey, yeah. Billy, what's <laughs> that white stuff all over your nose? <laughs> it's like three consecutive seconds of happiness. We, we Same. Oh man. Oh, a lifetime of misery. Oh yeah. man. <laughs> you bring for show and tell. Is that an incredible fact? And what did you bring? Same. A for real lizard that spits blood from its eyes. Well, Will Ferrell definitely brought that one. Um, <laughs> Did he? Uh, 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 it's too late. Yay! Make it Christmas themed, you guys. Give me God a Christmas damn it. Card. Perfect. <laughs> I'm not, I can't make it Christmas themed. As seen on TV. If someone actually types out Santa's jism, they win. <laughs> Damn it, I have a blank card. But now I know you have a blank card. Ha, That's ha, ha. fine, because it'll make Sheesh. it a whole lot better. Oh, Ow. <laughs> well, we know that's us. I fucking hate you. No. I wasted a card. A swim team all at once. A self microwave and burrito. See, that concerns me. I'm worried about self microwaving burrito because. I mean, MREs though. MREs. You don't have to MREs. microwave an MRE. It's like it's like it's got its own chemical. No, Tori, MRE. Tori, already, I've I've, ha I've had an MRE before nah, while nah, I was nah, doing nah. airsofting on the side of a mountain. Nah. If you have to warm up an MRE, there's something. So my friends. Brought... Well, no, there there are, there are some that you have to warm up. I have yeah. seen them. Uh, they come with some type of blue powdery stuff that makes yeah. fire or something like that. Anyways, Oprah's book of the month is a whole new kind of porn for Boris the Soviet love hammer. A story. Oprah's book Me of the too. month is making a friend for a Ugandan war A story of hope. And it's my dog. Oprah's book of the month is how awesome I am for sexual humiliation. Wow, that took a turn. A story of hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oprah's book of the month is Africa for graphic violence and thought language and story of life. I should have been done the other way around. I, I kind of like this one. It's probably Bone Dragon. Oh, no, no, it's Papa John. 
I like how much of a left turn that took. Money can't buy me love, but it can buy me friends, and no one gave me friends. I mean, because really you have not now. You know what? I'll just hang out with the dragon. God damn it! We can have no friends together. All these decorative pillows. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sounds like Yoshi getting spun out in fucking Mario Kart, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Bit of a fat one. Alright. What's fun until it gets weird? A dollop of sour cream. Ugh. Having sex on top of a pizza. It... That was Being fun. worshipped as the one true god. Ooh, that one get weird. A black male in his early 20s last seen where he's... Fuck. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Come on, man. Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> No, who picked Jeff Goldblum? Is he trying too hard? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yes. I would pick this card. I would What's pick this card. the one thing that makes an elf instantly ejaculate? <laughs> I feel like this card was played last yeah, time. If you, if you see mine, just think of Legolas. Oh. My god. So yours is Survivor's Guild because they <laughs> were feel guilty about surviving. Okay, so the one thing that makes Nelf instantly ejaculate is enormous Scandinavian woman. Women, woman, whatever. Okay. <laughs> the one thing that makes an elf instantly ejaculate is Survivor's Guild. Some really fucked up shit and an ether soaked rag. Oh, I wanna pick that one. They, they, they finish on the way out, you guys. They just, they finish on the way out. <laughs> I wish I still had Jeff Goldblum, goddammit. Oh, come on. This is sexual appetite for the secret formula. No. That is right. I mean, that's just like... Yeah, man. Like I said, I apologize. It gets kind of creepy if you think about it, but yeah. it won. It worked 100%. You're good. Oh, man. I've learned the hard way that you can't cheer up a grieving friend with mm, butt stuff, you guys. Butt stuff, butt stuff, butt stuff, butt stuff. Oh, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh. Banshee, is that yours? Which one? <laughs> you know which one. <laughs> oh man, just because you can't have it anymore doesn't mean you can make fun of me for it. Uh, you can't trip a grieving friend with Hanukkah. You can't trip a grieving friend <laughs> with two whales fucking the shit out of each other. If you think about it, that is butt stuff. You can't trip a grieving friend with nothing, and you can't trip a grieving friend with ancient Athenian boy fucking. Which is all butt stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's more butt stuffy. God damn it! Yes! <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and literally eating shit. Tuffet eating curds and giant sperm from outer space. Tuffet eating her curds and just a waking off. Tuffet eating her curds and mild autism. Yeah. Yeah. He's a multitasker. Fuck you, Oz. I'll take I'll take last place as long as Bone Dragon isn't making more points. <laughs> Until I found peeing into a girl's butt to make a baby flow. <coughs> I feel like that that last one would be actually what made me spit in in school. But uh, I'm gonna go with the one that is most economic, upgrading oh, the homeless. Oh man. God, God damn! Wait, who the heck is Bone Dragon? It's the person who always wins when they're here. That's who it is. 
Hey everyone, Javin Azrael with a special Punk Town message. But before that, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching the video. We all have fun playing, and I hope you have fun watching. Anyways, last year was big for us, and this year promises to be even bigger. We have lots of projects coming up, and our convention and show lineup this year is going to be absolutely crazy. We are growing our brand like a wildfire and bursting under our industry like a flood. We are maintaining our presence everywhere on the internet and finding new ways to reach out to all of you as quickly as we can. Thanks for the amazing year, and let's do our best to make this one even better. We'll see you all soon, and like I said back at the beginning, thanks for watching.